Hello there, peoples of the internet, once again to another video, except this video is has got nothing to do with anything else on this channel, and you may be asking why. Well, basically, this is a time lapse of me working on my Spanish project, and you may look at the screen very confused and say, Spanish, right, so when did Spanish involve drawing? Well, this project was actually to recreate, or really create, chapter two of a very popular old Spanish picture book for like children, like a children's book. So this was me working on it and I decided to go the ridiculously hard um, route instead of the normal person, not insane route, which was to, instead of just taking pictures offline and like just making them look nice, um, actually drawing in every single page of the picture, uh, of the picture book. Um, so these were all original, like pages that I like made up for the picture book, but the style is actually, I was trying to mimic as best I could the style that the book had, which is like a very sort of sketchy, like it's all sketched and like drawn type, hand drawn art style, um, which I actually really love. If you ever get the chance, the name of the book is Ferdinando. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautifully illustrated book, it really is. Um, so if you ever get the chance, please do like look it up. It's really great. Um, but yeah, so this was me trying to recreate it. Obviously, I am nowhere near the level of, like, artiste that uh, the guy that made it was, obviously. But I'm pretty proud of what it came up with. Um, I, I'm definitely, I, it actually really surprised me because I did not think I would be uh, anywhere near as, it would turn out anywhere near as good as I thought it would. Um, but most important, it was really just a great exercise. Um, for, you know, just as an art exercise, like, uh, manipulating, like, how really 3D objects should look as, like, a sketched, sort of, drawn thing, and the, like, cow's anatomy is not something I'm very familiar with, like, it, not, not really many people are, unless you're a farmer, like, with how it's supposed to bend and move, and, um, to the point that you can actually draw it, so I had to really think about how it would bend and stuff to look kind of natural, um, at some point, uh, when when my uh, parents saw it, they they thought one of the uh, one of the cows in one of the pictures was actually a horse, so that was fun. But um, I did my best, I think, and um, yeah. So this picture right here that you see I'm making right now was actually the most complicated picture of the entire project, um, and it was basically it involves this big tree that I'm drawing right now, um, this big gnarled tree in the foreground with Ferdinando, that's the name of the bull, um, resting on it. And then in the background, there's a bunch of like, there's like a valley and there's like rolling hills and a little castle and clouds and stuff. But yeah, so there you go. You see how I made the uh, tree trunk. I'm actually really proud of that. Um, I think like, I mean, I can't really speak for the rest of the project, but I think that particular aspect of it, this particular picture turned out pretty well. Um, so it was really a good exercise though of balancing like, since you only have really two colors to work with, how to really make shading happen with just full black and full white, um, which is pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool concept to like kind of practice artistically, I guess. Um, the leaves took me the longest, so as you can see, the leaves look like an absolute mess right now. So I had to go back in and really figure out how to balance blank space with actual like outlines of leaves and stuff. Um, and I think I ended up coming out pretty well. It ended up coming out all right. But um, yeah, it was really tough to do and took a while. So as you can see in the top right corner of the of the screen, you can see the time ticking away, and it took around six and a half hours to make this entire thing, which is ridiculous. Um, and then on top of that, then another couple hours to write everything up and um, and um, like get it all organized as a project. But just the art alone took around six and a half hours. Um, it's by far the longest I've sat down to draw art because I was literally just sitting and drawing for like the entire day um, because it was due, of course, the day after the day I was working on it um, because procrastination is a thing. Um, I don't recommend you guys procrastinate because that was not a good idea of mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is me working. This was actually, uh, this picture was pretty tough in the sense that it's almost isometric. So I had to figure out how to make it look like he was moving, like Ferdinando the bull was moving up a slope diagonally across the screen. And it was really kind of weird to figure out. You see, I have like the original picture. I kind of took it and bent it 
for reference, but I had to really redraw him completely for this picture. So that was kind of interesting, and I was it took a while to figure out the how the head should look, but I think I finally got the shape right after a lot of uh, fixing and tweaking. Um, so you see there, I'm tweaking some more and and some more and some more. Um, at some point, it, I mean, it ended up kind of looking like a gorilla. Um, I think I fixed that, but yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was uh, that picture. I'm just finishing up with the uh, with the tree in the background and moving up to his like favorite tree. Like the backstory, by the way, is like this is his like favorite tree, and he's a really peaceful uh, bull, and he doesn't like to fight or anything, and yada yada yada. You know, just a nice little children's story. Um, and he likes to relax by this tree. So the story that I went for the uh, for the chapter two was that he sees a he like reunites with with his family and then he meets a, a cow and um, and yeah and kind of falls in love and all that. It's all love story, all uh, nice and happy. <laughs> um, but that was kind of just the the general idea of the of the original story too. It was just like a nice little happy children's tale. Um, so this was me kind of trying to do something clever with the uh, heart, and then I decided, you know, it looks terrible, so I'll just stick with a nice outline of the heart. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, we're coming up to the end of the video, guys. Um, please do leave a like, leave some feedback. Um, try this yourself if you want. I mean, try, like, really sketching something out, because it's really a fantastic exercise, and I think it really helped me a lot with, like, art and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, this won't be like a normal thing. This is just a video that I had that I wanted to post. Um, but I'll be returning to actual video game content soon enough. Uh, video should probably, next video should probably come out over, either over the weekend or on Monday. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. There's another video possibly that I'll be putting out soon, uh, probably next week, uh, covering again something that it ha doesn't have much to do with the game, but. Um, if you guys were up to date on the like release of the game updates and stuff, I mentioned last time, this uh, last update I released, that there was a reason why I was kind of gone for a month, and that's that video should explain what that reason was. It's pretty interesting, um, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, so once again, leave feedback um, with the video game. Um, just like go check it out if you haven't. It's on Game Jolt, free to download. Um, updates every two weeks, and yeah. That'll do it for this video, guys. Uh, so yeah, goodbye!